All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Broken Age. We're back here with Shay. And if I remember correctly, we got to get to Prima Doom. But there's a lot of doors now that I think we can what are you access. So happy about? Uh, oh, it looks like a smiley face. What I get it. So <laughs> okay, so let us figure out how to get to Prima Doom. Got some more alien creatures to rescue. Ooh. Son, I'm not sure it's safe enough for you to leave your room. I'm tired of being a prisoner in my room. I'm sick of being a prisoner on this ship. I know, son. I know it's hard. You've given up so much. Enough. Listen, I'd like to tell you a story. A story of another person your age. A young girl. She wanted to live a normal life, but she was chosen. She was honored with a special duty. Some people would call it a sacrifice, but what she didn't realize at the time was that it was a great honor. It's even Vela's music. I've heard the story of the sacrifice girl a million times. I know the ending. The sacrifice girl is you, right? <gasps> what? What I'm trying to tell you is that I made a hard choice, but I regret nothing because... Great story, computer. I'm sorry they put no. you with someone's sad memories, but I have to go. You know the truth deep down, son. And I know you'll appreciate my words someday. Uh-huh. Brother. What? I thought I remembered the plot twist. I guess I don't. So, so Vela is in his past? So, this is the future? What? Oh my goodness, that is mind-blowing. Is that Vela? Or is, or is he, like, legit? That is just memories of Vela. What have we got? We got a lot of stuff in our inventory. Yes, my love. Let's ask her about this. Computer, what's the point of all this? Son, you know how important Operation Dandelion is. Operation Our Dandelion? Luna was dying, so we set sail on the Bassa Nostra to travel the universe and find you a new home. So after Vela, the planet started dying? Is that because we killed Magchatha? Maybe Magchatha was like keeping the planet alive or something? And maybe it was a mistake? Why haven't we found a new home yet? Well, the universe is a big place and it has to be perfect for my baby. So what does dad do during the day? Oh, your father has a lot of work to do outside, you know? Fixing the hull, scraping off space parasites, <laughs> keeping a lookout for new planets to live on. Is there anybody else on this ship? It's just you, me, and your father, of course. Oh, are you feeling lonely? I could meet you some new friends. So, are they actually computers, or are they maybe like they really are living in different parts of the ship and they have to talk? uh virtually like maybe there's some kind of disease or something that stops them from seeing each other because maybe that's why there's only three of them oh man this is getting all kind of like conspiracy theory in my head this is the future because of a virus or something so you've never seen a strange wolf around son i can't keep track of all your yarn pals oh are you saying you'd like a little wolf friend well, I've never knit a wolf before, but it should be no problem. Wow. Um... Computer, were you aware that the universe was at war? And that helpless creatures are being terrorized by ruthless tyrants? Ooh, that sounds like a fun new game. I'll talk to the Yarn Pals and get that set up for the next round of missions. Would you like that? <sighs> never mind. You know, if you could design your own games, I actually wouldn't mind life where you could just like decide what you want to do every day but maybe maybe that's missing the point i don't know we need to get to prima doom immediately absolutely not they call it prima doom for a reason <laughs> have some fun in the smile system instead well i gotta get back to taking over the ship <laughs> oh sweetie you're so funny <laughs> so funny okay let's um what happened to the robot that I saw there? Okay, let's check what's behind each of these doors. Even the music sounds like alien. Oh, 
Dude, you're like moving around in places. I need to know what you're up to. Is this the kitchen? This is the kitchen. Okay, so we can actually explore the ship properly now. Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. What's that? Nothing. <laughs> this is another talking utensil. You don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. <laughs> Please ignore him, sir. Bad attitude. Oh wow, that is so funny. Now we got like a <laughs> a New Yorker in our <laughs> pocket. It you don't talk too, do you? Not unless I have something to say. Please that is New Yorker, him, right? Bad attitude. And the other guy sounds like Jarvis from Iron Man. Not going back in there if I can help it. Why am I wasting time in this kitchen when I could be out in space? Good question. Emergency rations? I think that's overreacting. Hi, Mom. Okay, we got... What have we got in our inventory? We got a lot of stuff. We got talking knife. We got this thing on a jig. This is Merrick's defibrillator. Inhibitor. Right. And I need to put it on the confusion ball. Confusion orb. <laughs> Wait. Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> wow. Okay, so that's that's our objective. And then this guy grabs things? Come on, grabbing Gary. Grabbing Gary. Fun. You can do it. Can't you do anything except grab stuff? <sighs> and... It's a map. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. Ooh, hang on. I think we can actually draw this. So last time I was copying down some things. Um, and I guess this looks like... Yes, okay. So if we can figure out how to draw on that funny tapestry thing, then we've actually... We've got the star chart. This is all we need. So we can punch in our coordinates to Prima Doom. Okay, I've just written that down. So now we need to make it look like Prima Doom at some point. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful in an emergency. Like maybe in outer yeah, space? Right. Like we have those. Then we got a spoon. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. He literally sounds like Jarvis. I love it. What's this? Hey, why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Is that mommy? Maybe that's mom. Man, this plot is so interesting. There's like, I'm so curious what's going on now. Shay's is definitely more interesting than Bella's, unfortunately. Is there anything else to grab here? Whoops. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's <laughs> some sort of mind control device. Either way, it's dead now. I you took talk away to dad? and tried throwing a towel over that thing, but she always pulls it off. Oh, there's dad. He's outside. Okay, we got to talk to him somehow. That'll just take us back down to... Merrick? I don't remember his name now. The wolf guy. Alright, let's check the doors on the other side of the room. Is there anything I'm missing here? Got two doors. Let's go through blue first. I like that color more. Ooh, hello. This is the ice cream place. When the candy and treats are all you can eat 24-7. They just aren't that appetizing anymore. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, you guys you're so privileged. Hey guys. I suppose you want to ride the Avalanche Mission Protocol. Hey! We're supposed to be on the break! Nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much. Oh, 
my goodness. The humor in this is so dry. Look at all that ice cream. Don't try to steal it. It's frozen, dangerous, and covered in ice. It's green. Wow. Can we? Hey, guys. If we say yes, what happens? Yes. Sorry, I just want to practice my avalanche rescue skills. Oh, if that situation comes up a lot again, babe, come on, Nesbitt. I can use the hours. <laughs> Position one, everybody. I love their voices. They're so cute. You're not going to believe this, but... There was another ice cream avalanche? Yay! Weird. So nothing fancy happens then? Like a train and choo choo choo. <laughs> choo choo choo. The sense of humor in this is so on point. Man, Broken Age just gets better and better. Okay, um, no, I wanted to see what else was going on in that room. I wanted to see what this was. It's a whipped cream gun. <gasps> what? Yes. Warning. Contains artificial sweeteners suspended in a powerful propellant. Do not discharge into eyes. Warning. Contains artificial... I'm saving my cream for a matter of life and death. <laughs> so maybe we can propel ourselves in space? What is that glitching that's going on? Something's wrong with the ship. <gasps> maybe something's wrong with the ship. And no one's telling us? Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. <laughs> hmm. We got two rooms here. Let's let's go through this one first. Oh, this is the hug room. Oh no, he's actually hurt. Look at this. What is this? Let's help him out. Come on, poor hey, guy. Missions are cancelled. You can drop the act. Hey, I didn't attack you. <laughs> you guys attacked me. Now it's not the right time. Is that what you came down here for? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Uh, let's fix his back. There's something in hey, it. Maybe I can fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. <gasps> what is that? You're welcome. Now can we run the attack mission protocol? Sure, buddy. I owe you one. <laughs> he literally doesn't even act any different. Everything's broken hey, here, though. Wake up. There? What? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for their hug. <laughs> no, I just... You know, in the age of Corona, I really understand. Like, hugs are a rare commodity at this point. All right. Um, let us see if there's anything else in this room. Actually, let's see what we picked up. What is this? Hmm. I wonder if I could knit with this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, so you could probably crochet with it. Wow. You know a lot about yarn crafts. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we can use this to punch in the coordinates to Prima Doom. Sounds like a plan. Let's just explore the rest of what's going on here. <laughs> Dude's just turning a look at him. I wouldn't sit in those beanbag chairs. I'm afraid they'd cuddle me. Hey! Don't have to Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. I could do with some beanbags in my room, actually. Fake. Okay, let's check out the other doors. This dude is suspicious. He's like following us around. What's the year? This place is huge. What a spaceship. Oh, this is the train. Oh no, don't even think it. What? You are banned from this rail. <laughs> 
Wow. Good luck stopping me. Can't I ride the train again? Wow, that's harsh. Can I grab this with this? Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. So is this all like a bunch of extra scenes? What's the use of this? What does this say? Objects placed into this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. And the next time it happens to one of your toys, Shay, <laughs> your father is not going to retrieve it for you. Oh, okay. something once when you're two years old and lock it forever. So if I need to distract Daddy O, put something in there. Once when you're two years old and lock it forever. Put grabbing Gary in there? Gary doesn't like to grab trash. All right, I guess not. Teleporter, activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? To the Nexus? <laughs> yeah, beam me up, Scotty. Hang on! Hey, my, my head. What's wrong? My head is smaller. Oh, uh, yeah, you just used a teleporter. <laughs> Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. Big baby. It's like such a running joke in Hollywood that you just blame quantum physics for everything. Ooh. I guess we'll come back and see what those other doors do. Oh, that's where this takes us. Okay, so if we need a small head, we gotta use that teleporter. Where does teleporter. this one take us? Activate. Yes, sir. To the Hall of Heroes. You mean the junk room? Yeah. This is really cool. No malfunction. No malfunction. Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy. You went through two teleporters without a return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. I wonder what happens when you go through three of them. I wonder what's in those creepy jars. My old teeth? Hair? Listen to his voice. I made a hexy pal out of a paper plate. Probably thought they were alive then. This is a hexy pal over here. She bronzed my first space shoes. Or is that the remains of my old bomb squad bot? I wish he'd get rid of these. My paper mache is so much better than that now. I think that's supposed to be a space urchin, or else that's my old gum pile that I used to keep under my bed. Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. Ah, my first hazard suit. Man, how tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Okay, so maybe that's why we're shrinking our hair. Do you gotta put this on? But I don't know what the bodysuit is for. I think that's the ratty old washcloth I used to drag around the spaceship. I really hope she washed that thing. There's a lot of things going on here, actually. There's a lot of puzzles How did I manage to and win mechanics. Second place that time? I never want to see another train as long as I live. Actually, yeah, how did he win second place? Who else is on this, this ship? I gave up making art years ago. And if no one's around to see it, who cares? If a tree falls in the forest, no one hears it, did it really fall? As soon is that what you're asking? Full control of this ship, I'm going to burn this stuff. That should be for acting, acting like I cared about the stupid missions <laughs> on this ship. What's the here? Ooh. <gasps> what is this? Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Merrick sleeps. Merrick. At the store? The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Okay, so the creatures are in there. Alien creatures are in there. Man, there's a lot going on. What's through this door? I feel like I'm getting so lost in this ship. Oh. Okay, that took us full circle. So let's head back to the teleporter so our head doesn't explode. Judging by the wolf hair, this must be where Mary. Although we will have to use it to solve a puzzle for me. But let's wait until the puzzle to actually do that. That would make more sense. There is no time. See you. 
And what about the third one? Activate. This way to the fusion or containment facility. Okay. Of course, we need to do this before we can actually. Goodbye. Before we can actually um, land at Prima Doom. Caution. Entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. All radiation shielding necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> He's a Power Ranger. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. So without a helmet, I'm I can't. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation helmet. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. Come on, put your helmet on. My head is almost small enough to fit. In okay. Helmet. Okay, I see. So we got to solve this problem first. Take off the Power Ranger suit. Okay, so. Let us. I just want to see this one door we didn't teleport. look behind. Activate. May I teleport you to the Nexus? So let us just quickly see what's behind that third door. Thanks for traveling with us. Teleporter, activate. To the starboard passageway, sir. Starboard passageway. Here we go! Hey! My head's back to normal size. That's because you followed the rules and went back through the proper teleporter. Makes sense. What is that? Okay, we got one last door. Airlock. Warning. Airlock ahead. Safety suit and air tether required for extra vehicular exploration. But don't worry, I'll put it on you, sweetie pie. Ugh. So if I want to get out, she has to put it on for me. Hey, dude. Okay. Lots of hexapals around fixing things. <laughs> that is so cute. Ooh. Okay, so she put the spacesuit on. Can we cut ourselves loose now that we got the knife? Guess I'll just cut this air hose. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. No, air suffocating in space. It's no! Worth it. Didn't mean to die. No. Can you die in this game? Oh, mommy just rescues you? Well, now I'm torn between going to Prima Doom. Between going to Prima Doom and exploring in space. I think we have everything we need. We've got oxygen. We've got something to propel us. Yeah, let's do this. I don't know what they will be in space, but hey. Okay, let's attach the oxygen. Let's see if this fits. Come on. <sighs> wow, it That's literally just attached. That's so funny. Just attached onto the glass without an issue. Here we go. Okay. Oh no. Gotta get further out. Come on, legs. Ah. I wish I had some sort of propulsion. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got everything we need. Okay, skip, skip, skip. And propulsion. Look at that. All right, let's go. Arms can't reach us now. <laughs> We're 
brilliant. I don't know I'm why we did that. In space. Okay. Now what? Don't touch the point. That's gonna hurt. This is so cool. Those Look at this. Ship's cargo boom arms. Man, those things are huge. Look at this. Isn't this so cool? Exploring the frontier. Those must be the ship's cargo boom arms. Man, so many of them. Huge. Oh, hello. There's boom arm controls. And what's down here? More spikes. Just be careful not to touch the spikes. Right, let us... See what we can do with the boom controls. Ooh. Maybe if I could get this hatch open. No good. Stupid fat hands. Uh, grabbing Gary? I can tell Gary wants to get in there, but his grabbing claws are too thick to pry open that hatch. Knife? Let me try to... Oh, hey! Uh oh No, no not the face! Or the neck! Or the body! I'm free! Free <laughs> to cleave the infinite boy of space itself! <laughs> Phew! That's a relief for a lot of reasons. Oh, that was so funny! Alright, let's get in there. Oh! Rats! Can't reach. I think... I think Gary wants to grab that. Okay, grabbing Gary. It's hero time. Don't be oh, scared. Oh, his face is so oh, cute. Go ahead. Grab the controls. Oh, yeah. I have the button. Engage. Good boy. Oh, yes. The oh, boom hey, arm was hey, broken, hey. wasn't it? That's enough, Gary. We don't want to attract attention just yet. You sit okay. tight here. Okay. I'll push the button again when it's go time. Okay? So this is how... We use the boom arms. That makes sense. All right. Well, let's get out of here. Goodbye, Gary. You were the best present ever. <laughs> this is so cute. The knife is still going to be out here somewhere, isn't he? Oh, it'll be so funny if we catch him again and he's just like, no, I was free. Why did you take me? I love this music. It's like the end of the world. <laughs> All right. Time to get out of here, I guess. And I think that's an excellent place to leave it. So next time we'll come back, we'll go back with Vela. We'll try and track down Mog Chathra with the ax, try and cut him down. Uh, and then we'll come back to Shay and we will get to Prima Doom. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.